Bramley, little place down south. Stunning, beautiful, natural scenery and plenty of walkways. We're going to adventure down there. I think I've been before and see what we can find there. Eh? Should be a nice little mission. Well, I found this lovely little lake, river, canal system, I'm not sure. Not just a body of water, but there is the train track, no longer existent, train lines anyway, and this must have just run underneath it. That was a nice little bridge they'd run under. I'm going to carry on down this lake, pond, canal, I don't know. I take nothing away from that, but the sound of the running water coming over there, I tell you what, that's a lovely noise to hear right now peaceful and calm around me. Still in Bramley. This is the waterway, the waterworks. Must go the other way to what I thought it went. I thought it went towards where I was, but obviously it come from there and it goes this way. So we'll carry on following it. See how far we get. I don't think we're supposed to be here. Like there is a fence here, but there's a big hole in it. So don't mind a little mission down and have a look, do we? Especially when we get somewhere like that. Stunning. So that is a snake bridge. That is to get the horse from one side over to the other without Untethering from. Well, this is the railway line, and I'm assuming that there was one up there as well. Or maybe it's just a road, I don't know, we'll have a look later. Uh, so the old railway line run through, canal system next to, like I say, a snake bridge for the horses. Let's continue. Well, it's not very clear on here, but there's a couple of old deer up there. It's a lovely place, Bramley. Oh, well, that's a friggin' hill to get up. That we're just over halfway. Top of this hill is a nice broken down tree with something to sit on. So all good. Lovely. I think it was about three years ago when I was last round here. And it must have been colder when I came because there's a lot of greenery here and I don't really remember the route. I sort of remember we go up and round another bend, but I've been looking for this bend for about five minutes. And I'm still going up. And to lovely view. Onto the paddocks, my dear. Right, we'll carry on. We'll get there eventually. Bosh, one bend. <laughs> so we bend round. There's a little uh, gate just over yonder. I can get um, tractors and whatnot up, obviously, to do some woodland maintenance, yada yada, blah blah. But we're going to head up, I think, the middle one, and then we head right and we'll get to the top of this hill. So wonderful. Let's see where we've come from. Somewhere down there. Okay. Plenty of debris. Dead tree. Come on, let's go. Welcome to the wilderness. Lovely out here. Everything looks so old and oh wait, I'm sat there. That's me chilling. Anyway, so old and untouched. It's just stunning. And this is only an eight minute walk from Bramley Town uh, Bramley Centre, you know what I mean? It's it's nothing. Get off your backside and get out in the wilderness. And it's raining, but don't care. Right, well, we got to the top of the hill. It's still peeing it down. Oh, okay. There's a seat from last time. There's another tree been taken down. I've come down since, like, looking at that. Anyway, that's what we've come to see. Lovely. Little tower on the hill. Can't get in it, like, so I can't keep drying there. So we'll head back down anyway, and we'll show you a bit more of the town, shall we say, or village, or whatever you want to call it. I suppose another thing that's really nice about this is just the variety of trees as well. You've got pines and you've got um, birch and down there there's loads of oak trees. Not sure if that could be either hazelnut or... No, I forget what I've just said. It's, an oak. it's a conker tree. Anyway, so like I said, there's tons of variety of plant, woodland and everything up here. It's a lush place. Gotta visit if you're ever down. And it's a little wet on the descent. It's running like a river, lad. It's running like a river. I seen this little totem pole thing last time I come. That is the end of the track. So we're nearly back into village town. What but village, lad? Than us. Town, whatever you want to call it. Sort of about the flickering of the focusing because uh, it's getting wet. It's getting wet. Wet, wet, wet. Anyway, let's get back to walking. Huh? We'll get back down in town. Whoa, hello. A bit of a noisy environment here. There's a petrol station. There's the main road in, I would say. There's the main road out, because it's not very big. 
<laughs> down here we have it's believed to be the old fire station that one there which is quite cute to have and then on the other side we can't see it just yet but over there is the church there's a pub or two well one i'm staying in just on the far end quite a nice pub to be fair very very nice indeed burgers tonight was good there you go there's the church what a lovely church it is as well they're still ringing the bells so no matter what time it is you can still hear them that's a certain change isn't it lovely blue skies uh, i see how long that lasts i don't think it's gonna last very long i can see a dirty gray cloud over there <laughs> right this is a flap apparently to take water out from the underneath which is a, just a general flowing little lake or river or something no maybe not even that just a stream if i go over here there's a sign to tell you about this from god knows when yes that was epic right well i know this is not where i was down in uh, bramley but this is my back garden and it's as much a back garden as anybody else could want there's plenty to it and there's plenty of uh, space to it as well we had a great adventure down there it was a great time while i've been down there we've loved every minute of being there you've got to visit somewhere like that if you haven't got it in your own back garden open your eyes a bit more there's plenty of plenty of space around everybody we've all got a bit of that greenery right until next time stay safe <laughs>